this is going to be Beaver Bite number three. Uh, when I read a good book, want to know uh, how to get into my mind, then uh, read this book that I've heard them talking about before. Um, but it is uh, quite enlightening when it comes to trying to motivate, inspire, and breed culture. Enough of the hard sell. Um, so, uh, first of all, let's start off today by saying a massive well done to St. Neots, to the whole St. Neots team. Um, who really in the last few weeks have been performing uh, absolutely incredibly and really have had a fantastic year uh, so far. Now up to 10% growth uh, for the year which is brilliant and last week uh, we think was possibly a record week, we're still waiting to have that confirmed but um, an absolutely um, a fantastic performance financially but also as well a massive improvement on, uh, on May's performance as well over the last um, couple of months uh, a real improvement so some um, very very positive things happening in St Neots so it's a big well done to Jackie and all the team there and obviously very aware that Elizabeth has been over there for the last few weeks as well so uh, so well well done um, I'm also very aware as well that it's uh, come up to seven years um, that I've been director of Bedford and uh, St. Neots Specsavers, which um, has flown by and um, really amazing how quickly it has, has gone when I remember walking very nervously from the car park um, to the back entrance of uh, the old store, um, just thinking it was a new chapter in my life. And, uh, and it has been, and it's been a, uh, a very enjoyable uh, chapter in my life so far. Um, I've enjoyed all the challenges and everything that's thrown at me um, by the business, you know. Um, and we knew that when we were getting uh, to around about 2010, that we were doing so well in the in the in the original Bedford store. And then we had the relocation, and there was still a honeymoon period. And I, th I think the first three years of of the current store have been. Um, I'm not going to call it the new store anymore because it isn't new. Um, the current store have also been a honeymoon period, and I think the honeymoon period is well and truly over now. Um, I think we're finding things more difficult to make improvements. I think we have improved a hell of a lot financially, structurally, as individuals. Um, getting used to the store in the last three years, I think we really have improved massively. But I think we're now finding, and I'm certainly finding, it very difficult to make further adjustments and improvements in the store. So I really need your help, you know, every single one of you, from managers to the whole team, to, to try and move this store even further forward, because I still don't think it's reaching its potential from a, from a service uh, point of view and a day-to-day -day running point of view. I think we can be better, but it's hard. It is hard, and uh, it does take hard work and effort. And I've had no doubt in the next few months that we're going to see more and more of that hard work and effort turn into reward, not just through recognition and, and through feedback and uh, uh, everything that's positive that comes with that, but also financially as well. Uh, I truly believe that that will be uh, seen uh, in the next uh, next six months or so. Um, but it's, it's how we improve now and, and the things we have to analyse and look at. Waiting times in the test room are a great example. We started off the system um, with the Optons uh, pre-screening and that made a big difference, a really, really big difference initially. If you look at this month again now, we're starting to find that perception dropping off from the patients. So we have to work harder and be so customer focused all the time to ensure that that perception level doesn't drop and that every time a patient comes back to us a year down the line, two years down the line, that their service journey is improving every single time because that's the only way we know we're evolving and moving in the right direction. If a patient comes back and has the same experience but it's a good experience, fine, but there should always, always be one thing that's changing within that journey and improving within that journey. And the waiting time journey and what we're trying to do with that it had an instant impact but we can't let it fail now it's dropped right down to 81% perception really we should be getting up to the 90% and above 
and doing everything we, we can. And we know there are waiting time issues in other areas in the store, but that particular waiting time perception is about test route waiting time. So it's early days in this month, but we have to, as optoms especially, and Liana and the clinical manager and the clinical team, have to be very driven and focused on improving that perception for the patient. And it's not easy to do, I know, but that's one area that we can really, really improve upon and has a massive impact. Goes without saying, I've been talking about communication, um, and uh, it is the key, and it's very, very boring, I know, but it is. Um, and if we get that right, um, everything in the store will improve. Um, trust me, it really will. Um, but I, th I really want your support and need your support in the next six months to really try and turn this store around from the terms of customer service. Not turn it around, that's wrong. Improve upon what we already have and really make a difference and really go to Birmingham at the end of the year believing we can win things because that's a fantastic recognition and reward and that's something I think if we work as hard and carry on working as hard as we have but just be a little bit smarter and more consistent we'll get the recognition that we do deserve uh, as a team, both Bedford and St Neots will get that reward and recognition. One final thing before I go, because I'm uh, aware of the fact I'm waffling on, um, contact lenses in um, Bedford, fantastic start um, um, to the uh, customer service element of it for this month, considering last month, much better improvement. Great direct debit growth, uh, 26 last week, which is brilliant. And uh, also, again, like to finish as I started by congratulating St. Neots with their contact lens performance, second in the region in terms of growth, absolutely fantastic, um, stunning performance. Well done to Ash in particular for driving that uh, wonderful um, effort, wonderful performance. I don't see you enough to tell you that face to face, Ash, so I do apologise, but it's not, uh, it doesn't go unnoticed. So well done, and well done, St. Neots. And welcome guys and that's me signing off and Elizabeth I hope this background's a little bit better for you okay bye bye